ago, this past October. The Kaufman Stables in Tika would like to wish you all a happy holiday. And welcome Kilburn Family Farm. Corey and Kevin are 14 year old Percheron horses that are farm broke. The Kilburn family would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Folks, as the characters are passing, pay close attention to the horses are dressed. I uh, mentioned that the, the horsemen have put a lot into the event. It's very, very amazing to see the, the decorative nature of the quite an effort to maintain them and you can tell those horses are very well loved. Another one coming up here soon. Oh awesome, coming up is Dan Doran with Apple Hill Farm. Uh, the Dan and Dan Doran from Apple Hill Farm in Ross Township. They bring their Brewster Beach Phaeton nice pulled by two Arabian Geldings. Meadowbrook Farms. Charles and Susie Poppy, Meadowbrook Farms, driving this team of purebred hackneys um, to an antique this built by Brewster and Company of New York for the Vanderbilt family. Charlie is the sole survivor of every carriage freight here. Past president, three times of Ohio Valley Carriage Club, honorary lifetime director of Carriage Association of America, president of Burlington Spring Horse Show, and honorary life director of your carriage. They want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. They say they love driving in the Lebanon Christmas spring. Next year. We've got a couple blocks yet for our next chair to come up. Cool. Cool. If you've never driven today, don't quite stay right uh, 30 seconds behind uh, or, or spaced properly, but uh, that's all right. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. About, you'll be ushered with grace and elegance in our horse-drawn carriage by our Clodsdale VP. We offer elite services for weddings, engagements, anniversaries, school dances, birthdays, family reunions, private events, and local community <coughs> promotional events. Find us on our Facebook page and Instagram to reach out to reserve and book your event with Once Upon a once upon a dream, horse, and carriage. All right, coming up is Dale Pitcock from Elysian Fields Farm. Elysian Fields Farm of Plain City, Ohio, owned by Dale and Becky Pitcock. Their award-winning dragon pair is a lure and Dasha pulling their Victorian carriage. Both of these mares are high-quality breeding mares and produced phenomenal stud colts this year. Follow them on Facebook because they appreciate the opportunity to come out and visit with you today. And a message from them, we hope that the 2022... I was restored in 2021 to the original configuration of colors and upholstery. The horse is a Morgan named Bear. Beth has been a part of the parade either as a driver or as an outwalker for 29 of the 33 parades. So Amy, do you have a favorite parade that you remember? Oh my goodness, I would say that my very first parade, back when I was first selected in office, back in uh, 89, actually, um, it was small, but it was the beginning of something that was, and how the community and people from all over the country come to our little town, our magical town, and I'm um, sharing the excitement and the 
joy of a uh, wonderful festival. That's fantastic. There's a rumor also that the horses were followed back in those days by a couple gentlemen in tuxedos. <laughs> Look at this one coming up. Carriage okay. number 17, Morgan Miller, Miss Agriculture USA. No burner driver, Morgan Miller, the 2022 Ohio Miss Agriculture USA. This is Morgan and Nova's first year being in the parade. And they want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Now that's my kind of horse. Hi, Sandra. Hello. Sandy looks great. Thank you. I might have room in my place for that horse, Penny. Look. People that do petting zoo and pony rides for birthday parties and festivals can be found on their Facebook page under Sterling Silver Mini Farm. Sterling and Angela want to wish everyone a blessed Christmas season. I'm loving those little horses. <laughs> I know. Uh, and I'm looking at seeing you know, some other uh, precious horses. Come here at 19. Diana Dumford. Uh, farm, many acres, and this is sponsored by Lebanon Christian Schools. Missy is a 22-year-old miniature horse. And Chief 16 is is 16 years old. They've been doing these parades for years as part of the Porter Hitch. Mini Acres is located in Oxford, Ohio. And just to let you know, when I was riding in the parade for many, many, many years, I would um, I would ride with these. Again, my kind of horse. Best here. She's with OHC, and she's helping us keep track of who's coming and when. We do change the carriage lineup as folks may arrive late or, you know, heaven forbid, someone might be sick and not make it. So she's helping us while we shuffle through our, our sheets here to get you the information. Thanks, Catherine. She's done it uh, also for 30 years. 30 year veteran up here. Yes, she's done an amazing job. Southern. The farm is Quantum Metals, and they're sponsored by Quantum Metals as well. Hershey is a seven-year-old miniature donkey, and is, he's in his second parade, his first being the King's High School homecoming parade this fall. He's only been pulling the cart since late this summer. Oh, I see Winston up there. He got past me. All right. I see carriage 23, Scott Hagemeyer, Hagemeyer Farms. A dear, dear, dear friend, uh, sponsor, uh, Town Money Saver. It's great to see the Hagemeyers. Little Patch is a 23-year-old miniature horse pulling an Amish. Bill Lindsay is a proud graduate of the Ohio State and is a practicing horse veterinarian in the Warren and Clinton County areas. Little Patch and the Hagelmeyer family are celebrating their 17th year driving in the Lebanon Carriage Parade. It's great to have you. Next up is Gerald Catanio from Warner House Performance Horses, sponsored by the Lebanon Blues Festival. The Mason family and CHPH present CJ and his Christmas Conestoga wagon, driven by Alicia Griffin, joined by CHPH Equestrian Team. All right, we have Carriage 28, Elizabeth Grubb, Sowers Racing. Sponsor, Ginger Rudy, Star One Realtors. Frosty the Snowman is pulling two of Santa Scott's elves. Elf on the shelf, Willow Todd. He's been at our house quite, quite a few times. Well, that would be dating myself because back in the day, there was no elf on the shelf. That's impossible. 
All right, Park Kim Park Horse is coming up from Run Amok uh, Farm. Hey, what a good name, somebody. Run Amok Farm. Sugar and Spice is American miniature. All right, we have Penny Wallace, Tally Ho Acres. Penny Wallace and her miniature horse, Butterfinger, from Tally Ho Acres in Tip City, Ohio. They have attended and have participated in the National Drive at the Hoosier Horse Park in Indiana for four years. This is their third time in our parade. Penny is a member of the OHC in Miami and Montgomery County, Ohio. There we go. Thank you so much for being here. Hi there, Emerson. Thanks for being here. Merry Christmas. family carriage from nearby Oregonia pulled by Molly the gentle Welsh pony for their 10th that's 10 consecutive Lebanon carriage parade they're sponsored by Spencer Built Incorporated for all your building and remodeling needs Matt Spencer of Spencer Built is Clara Rose 8 u softball coach go Warriors all right we have Teresa Trump Apple Creek Farm Oakley is a five-year-old miniature horse. Oakley just loves Christmas time and wants to help Santa deliver presents this year. I love those decorations. All right, Jennifer and Minnie, Feather the Unicorn, are participating in their second year with the Lebanon Horse Parade. Lee Hannon has been showing Feather in her fourth in 4-H, rather, for the past two years in Hunter Jumper. and shown several parades throughout the past two years all over Ohio. You can follow Feather the Unicorn with all her adventures on Facebook. She has her own page. All right, our next carriage, Olga Ferrachita, uh, Miranda's Ice Cream Shop of Morrow. Uh, we have Unicone of uh, Miranda's, a great pony. Mascot of Miranda's Ice Cream Shop of Morrow, pulling wooden Amish cruiser carts. Please visit the Unicorn at Miranda's on Five Trail in Morrow, Ohio, and enjoy our delicious ice cream. Hopefully you're all enjoying the different horse names we're reading. I started wondering, Amy, if I was a horse, what would I be named? And I don't think I want to ask my wife. <laughs> Um, I think we'll leave them put the on that. Amy almost didn't know what to say there. Alright, coming up is Tim Hall from Fieldstone Farm. Ohio. Wagoner Outwalkers are Jeff Hall and Angie Everman. Drivers are Tim Hall and grandsons Eli and Evan. Alright, we have Beth Walker, Gorman Heritage Farm. Hi there, everybody. Um, it's a 22-acre nonprofit working farm in uh, Evendale, Ohio with a mission to educate. Um, Club on Accessible Wagon by Thomas uh, Wielding in Georgetown, Ohio to provide entertainment to DDS centers throughout Southwest Ohio for their summer programs as well as events on the farm. This dedicated group of volunteers for our miniature horses and mules are always looking for new members. Come to historic Mormon and Heritage Farms in Evangelical Ohio Club and Mules wish you and your family a wonderful holiday season. Coming up next in this beautiful white carriage is Michael Krasarnich from Main Street Carriage with sponsor Republic Maine. Alright, we have uh, Melissa of Finch Creek Farm, um, Shareback Slevin and Ford sponsor. Reinhold uh, Pinkett's of Finch Creek Farms in Ohio. Look at those Dri magnificent I farms. I know. Driving a beautiful hollow wagon pulled by Percheron Gelding, Andy and Charlie. The Pinkett's also gave carriage rides downtown 
during the afternoon festivities. All right, 
Steve uh, Wisniewski is here. Horse Lake Farm with Equine Affairs. Equine Affairs. Horse Lake Farm fly sales pulling the wagon for Equine Affairs. Welcome, Horse Lake Farm. All right, Stephen Gabbard, Sunset Shires. Um, Sunset Shires providing tours, riding, and driving lessons in Shire Horse Experience in Bellbrook, Ohio. Find us on Google at Sunset Shires. Wildfire Equestrian is a full-service equestrian business. They breed, show, and train all aspects of the equine world. We love to promote our Clyde sales with our fall service carriage business. Wildfire Equestrian is owned by Brian Almischler and Karen Monger. Our Clyde sale hitch is shown by Wildfire Equestrian and Matt and Kelly Barter. Um, and again, a shout out to our Chamber of Commerce. Um, and all the numerous volunteers that uh, really make this a spectacular festival. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked by our horsemen to please ask you not to cross the street as the horses approach. I uh, mean, it's for your safety. It's just a request from our horsemen uh, to please not cross. Our final team is approaching, and it's Debbie Beckstein. I'm so glad she's back with Old Time Travel. Sponsored by Express Delivery. Old Time Travel prides itself in raising, training, and showing quality Clydesdale horses. Old Time Travel is owned and operated by Debbie Beckstein along with the assistance of her sidekick, Bill Harry. Their first involvement with the Clydesdales began in 1990 with the purchase of two mares. From those two mares, the Little Red Herd has presently grown to a total of 10 Clydesdales. These same horses have been part of the famous historical Lebanon Christmas Festival all horse drawn territory for 26 years. Old time travel language everyone. Amy and I would like to thank you very much. The city of Lebanon, the Lebanon Area Chamber of Commerce, would like to thank you for coming out to our parade and Christmas festival. Yes, everyone, thank you for being here. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. We appreciate you. God bless our our community. God bless our veterans, those who are serving, and God bless America. Have a safe ride home, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,